Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Kepler-452b orbits at a very similar distance from its star. Mission scientists said they believed it was the most Earth-like planet yet. Such words are of interest to astronomers because they might be small and cool enough to host liquid water on their surface and might therefore be hospitable to life. NASA scientist chief John Grunsfield called the new world Earth 2.0 and the closest so far to our home. It is around 1,400 light years away from Earth. And in today's video, we will tell you all details revealed till today about Earth 2.0. Without further ado, let's begin. Has a probable mass five times that of Earth, and its surface gravity is nearly twice as Earth's, though calculations of mass for exoplanets are only rough estimates. If it is a terrestrial planet, it is most likely a super-Earth, with many active volcanoes due to its higher mass and density. The clouds on the planet would be thick and misty, covering much of the surface as viewed from space. The planet takes 385 Earth days to orbit its star, its radius is 50% bigger than Earth's and lies within the conservative habitable zone of its parent star. It has an equilibrium temperature of 265 degrees Kelvin, negative 8 degrees Celsius, 17 degrees Fahrenheit, a little warmer than Earth. The host star, Kepler-452, is a G-type and has about the same mass as the Sun, only 3.7% more massive and 11% larger. It has a surface temperature of 5,757 degrees Kelvin, nearly the same as the Sun, which has a surface temperature of 5,778 degrees Kelvin. The star's estimated age is to be about 6 billion years old, about 1.5 billion years older than the Sun which is 4.6 billion years old. From the surface of Kepler-452b, its star would look almost identical to the Sun as viewed from the Earth. In 2009, NASA's Kepler spacecraft was observing stars on its photometer, the instrument it uses to detect transit events, in which a planet crosses in front of and dims its host star for a brief and roughly regular time. In this last test, Kepler observed 50,000 stars in the Kepler input catalog, including Kepler-452. The preliminary light curves were sent to the Kepler science team for analysis, who chose obvious planetary companions from the bunch for follow-up by other telescopes. Observations from the potential exoplanet candidates took place between 13 May 2009 and 17 March 2012. Kepler-452b exhibited a transit which occurred roughly every 385 days, and it was eventually concluded that a planetary body was responsible. The discovery was announced by NASA on 23 July 2015. Kepler Data Analysis Lead at NASA's Ames Research Center in California added, It's a real privilege to deliver this news to you today. There's a new kid on the block that's just moved in next door. The New World joins other exoplanets such as Kepler-186f that are similar in many ways to Earth. Determining which is most Earth-like depends on the properties one considers. Kepler-186f, announced in 2014, is smaller than the new planet but orbits a red dwarf star that is significantly cooler than our own. Kepler-452b, however, orbits a parent star which belongs to the same class as the Sun. It is just 4% more massive and 10% brighter. Kepler-452b takes 385 days to complete a full circuit of this star, so its orbital period is 5% longer than Earth's. The mass of Kepler-452b cannot be measured yet, so astronomers have to rely on models to estimate a range of possible masses, with the most likely being 5 times that of Earth. If it is rocky, the world would likely still have active volcanism and the gravity could be roughly twice that of our planet. The world is included in a haul of 500 new possible planets sighted by the Kepler Space Telescope around distant stars. Twelve of the new candidates are less than twice Earth's diameter, orbiting in the so-called habitable zone around their star. If you are enjoying the video, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos just like this. This time zone refers to a range of distances at which the energy radiated by the star would permit water to exist as a liquid on the planet's surface if certain other conditions are also met. Of these 500 candidates, Kepler-452b is the first to be confirmed as a planet. Dr. Susan Agrain from the University of Oxford, who was not involved with the study, told BBC News, I do believe the properties described for Kepler-452b are the most Earth-like I've come across for a confirmed planet to date. 
What seems even more significant to me is the number of planets in the habitable zone of their host star, with radii between two Earth radii. Twelve is quite a few compared to the pre-existing Kepler planet catalog. It bodes well for their attempts to provide a more robust measurement of the incidence of Earth-like planets, which is the top-level goal of the Kepler mission. While similar in size and brightness to the Sun, Kepler-452b's host star is 1.5 billion years older than ours. Scientists working on the mission, therefore, believe it could point to a possible future for the Earth. If Kepler-452b is indeed a rocky planet, its location, vis-a-vis -vis its star, could mean that it's just entering a runway greenhouse phase of its climate history, explained Dr. Doug Caldwell, a SETI Institute scientist working on the Kepler mission. The increasing energy from the aging sun might be heating the surface and evaporating any oceans. The water vapor would be lost from the planet forever. Kepler-452b could be experiencing now what Earth will undergo more than a billion years from now as the sun ages and grows brighter. Dr. Donald Polacco from Warwick University, UK, who was not involved in the latest analysis, told the BBC, Kepler data allows you to estimate the relative size of a planet to its host star, so if you know the size of the host, hey, presto, you know the size of the planet. However, to go further, i.e., is it rocky, involves measuring the mass of the planet, and this is much more difficult to do as the stars are too far away for these measurements, which are incredibly difficult to make. So, in reality, we have no idea what this planet is made of. It could be rock, but it could be a small gassy ball, or something more exotic maybe. Dr. Chris Watson from Queen's University Belfast, UK, commented, Other Kepler habitable zone planets may well be more Earth-like in this respect. For example, Kepler-186f is approximately 1.17 Earth's radii, and Kepler-438b is approximately 1.12 Earth's radii. In fact, at 1.6 Earth radii, this would place Kepler-452b in a category of planets called a super-Earth. Our solar system does not actually have any planets of this type within it. Super-Earths are hugely interesting for this reason, but one might then say, well, is it really Earth-like given all this? He added, when we look at the type of star Kepler-452b orbits, then it seems to be a star not too dissimilar to our Sun. The other Kepler habitable zone planets that have been discovered so far tend to be orbiting M dwarfs, stars far cooler than our Sun, and therefore these planets need to orbit much closer to receive the same levels of heating. So it may be a potentially rocky super-Earth in an Earth-like orbit, in terms of host star and orbital distance. It's this combination of the host star and orbit that set it apart, in my opinion. The findings have been accepted for publication in the Astronomical Journal. So guys, let me know down in the comments section below. What are you feeling about it? For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.